Hi everyone, it's TJ. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a foundation review that I've been very excited to share with you. And it is on the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. And I stumbled across this on the Alta website. Um, I was looking through the Catrice products because they are a new line of makeup that Alta is carrying. And um, this caught my eye because it was really rated high and it was sold out in like every shade almost. And it had four and a half stars out of 52 reviews. Um, that is a low number of reviews, but I think it's because it's a newer product. But it seems like everyone that did review it reviewed it pretty high. So I couldn't help myself, you know, I love trying different foundations and I ordered it. So let me first go and explain to you um, what the claims of the foundation are. It says, um, high definition, high definition coverage. Catrice's HD Liquid Coverage Foundation is an ultimate lightweight, high coverage foundation for a natural looking finish. The benefits are, covers imperfections and mattifies the skin, creating a smooth, even complexion for up to 24 hours. Well, I don't <laughs> think anyone wears makeup for 24 hours. And it features a unique dropper application, paraben free and non-tested any animals. So that's what the website says. Um, I would say one of the drawbacks to this foundation is that it only comes right now in four shades. It doesn't have a, um, a very wide range of shades on the fair sides or on the deeper sides. I'm pretty fair and I am wearing um, the foundation in the shade 020 called Rose Beige. And um, that is the second to the fairest. And um, I, luckily enough, I think this is a very good um, match for me. It has a lot of, um, it's more of a cool undertone. I have a, um, more of a cool complexion. And then it comes in um, two more deeper shades, probably medium. I wouldn't call these deep shades at all. And then um, a light shade. Um, with more of a neutral undertone, but um, if you're really fair, I'm not sure if this will, you'll be able to find a color, and if you're very deep, I don't think you're gonna be able to find a cover. So I do think um, they do need to um, add more shades to the to this foundation. Um, it, the coaching is very nice. It's a nice glass container, and it has some weight to it, and it feels more high-end and it has a dropper applicator, which I do like because it is such a thin consistency. I'm gonna drop this on the back of my hand so you can see exactly how thin it is. But the coverage, you can see my, um, the coverage is really great for such a, a thin formula. It's not sheer at all. It's definitely a medium to full coverage get 1.01 fluid ounces for $10.99 which is a great price. So um, I did film earlier my um, application process and I'll, if you're interested, take, um, keep watching and I'll show you how it applies. What I'm going to do is to shake the bottle because it's quite um, liquidy, a very thin consistency and um, comes in this nice dropper. And I found that I like to um, pour like one dropper on the back of my hand. You could um, drop this on your face, but I find that I tend to get some product on my clothes when I just kind of drop it on my face. So I take it and I dot it on my face. And I find that you have to work pretty fast with this formula because it's pretty, um, it dries pretty fast. So I'm just kind of dotting it on my face. And I'm going to show you first side, this side, I'm going to use my Real Techniques blending brush. And I'm going to just kind of buff it in. And you can see um, this is a pretty good color match. So I, I'm just going to. Um, Buff it in. I'm hoping you can see that it is pretty nice coverage. I really like the coverage that it gives with the brush. It's a very pretty finish. And it 
covers really well. And on this side, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Beauty sponge and I am going to just press that in with the with the sponge. Definitely feel this is a um, medium to full coverage. And I'm going to um, get a little bit more product. Maybe um, two drops. And I'm going to do the top half of my face. I have to work in sections. And I'll use the brush up here. blender on this side. Take my sponge down a little bit. So that's one side. Um, this side is with the brush and this side is with the beauty blender. I like um, both finishes. I think I prefer the side actually with the brush better. I usually always prefer a sponge, but I think um, with this kind of liquid formula, I get more coverage with the brush. And then um, I have been applying it all over with my brush, and then I'm kind of smoothing it out with my beauty blender. And that's the, um, my preference but it does, um, you get a very nice sheer, um, it's, it's not even sheer, I would say, it's more of a medium coverage with the um, Beauty Blender sponge and more full coverage with the brush. So it's it's actually just, a, a, you know, your personal preference. And um, yeah, I, I think it's, you know, a beautiful finish. It's um, not too tacky. It uh, dries pretty quick, so you have to work with it pretty quick, and it kind of um, sets to a um, more of a powder finish. Um, it is a matte formula, uh, but it, it's not like a matte, like a flat matte, oily skin. And I do find um, I did set my um, T zone. I used the Benefit Professionals um, in my T zone because I did find that. Um, I didn't um, mattify me enough. I still had some oils, but if I use the um, Benefit Primer along my um, oily spots, it works really well. So, um, yeah, I think it is a beautiful finish, and um, so that's um, how the product applies. Okay, I'm back. Um, I wanted to share with you my final thoughts. Um, I am wearing the makeup. Um, foundation today. I've been playing and testing it out for about a week. Um, it looks really um, nice. I feel like it is a nice matte foundation, but not matte flat. It is long lasting. Um, I wore it to work the other day and um, I had it, it lasted on me for a good 10 hours. Um, at about the 10 hour mark, um, it did break up around my nose. Um, um, but foundations seem to always um, break up around my nose, especially when I'm working because I, I do wear reading glasses. But I was really happy um, with how, the, how long lasting the foundation was. Very happy with the coverage on the foundation. I feel like um, if you were really dry and you have very dry mature skin, I'm not sure if you would like this foundation because it is um, more of a matte finish. When I wear it, I don't set it um, with any powder. It's not necessary. Um, and it, it really 
I think it covers beautifully. It really is lightweight. You wear it on your skin and you don't feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup, but you have a lot of coverage. So I, I really, um, I've really been enjoying it and um, I would recommend this for um, people with mature, maybe more oily or normal skin. Um, I know some people I've had done reviews with dry skin and have um, had, had good results with it too, but I would think it'd be more for normal and oily skin. Um, if you like that glowy look, it's definitely not going to be a foundation for you. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with it and I hope you found this review helpful and um, if you're new to my channel I would love for you to um, click that subscribe button. If you like this review give it a thumbs up. If you'd like me to do more reviews um, um, just leave that down in the comments below. I'm curious if anyone else has tried this foundation. I haven't, didn't find that much information online. Um, on YouTube about it that many reviews so I thought and this might be helpful so if you have tried this foundation I would love to hear your comments and you can um, comment how you liked it and what kind of type of skin you have and that might help other um, people watching this video so I hope everybody um, is well and I'll see you in my next video bye